hey guys welcome back last time we saw how we can filter this depending on the compression status so in this video we're going to be looking at how to view a single to do so every time we click this eye we should go to the single to do page so to do that we need a way to link to our url whenever a user clicks here so we can go to our index so where we have the eye which is here in the href we want to have this then of course you know we use the url now we need to put the view name so the view name here we already know it is to do now the to do expects us to give it an id so you can leave a space here and pass the id of the current item so the current item here is to do it's going to be to do.pk so here we can have to do.pk like this so let's save that now if you come back here refresh and click you see we come to the slash eight okay if we click on another one see it is slash five all right looking good so how do we get the details of this because at this point we only know the the id so how do we get more details so you can get that by going to our views so in the views this is where we render the, the to do template so we want to first get this to do from our db so you can have to do now I'm going to introduce you to get object of 404. So let's first import get object of 404. Pick four. So with get object of 404, so what it does is it takes in a model, the model we want to get the object from, of which ours is gonna be to do, and then the key we want to query by. So we want to query where the ID equals this ID. So here we can just do pk equals the ID that is passed in here. Okay, so that's gonna make sure that we don't like our application doesn't crash when the item doesn't exist and it shows a 404 page like page not found. So Django has a default page it shows when you're in production and the user is, is accessing something that doesn't exist. So this will make sure that Django is serving the correct template every time this is not found. So now that we have the to do, we can create our context. So context equals to do, then the to do, then now let's pass the to do here. Oh, let's pass the context to here. Okay, so now if we go to our to-do detail, so we'll go to to-do detail. So over here where we have detail, let's change this to a one. Then you remember we give it the class of UI header. So it looks a bit better. Okay, so here I'm going to bring up, to bring in this card view. So see what we're doing here is we are creating a div with card class to make it look like a card. Then we are using this other semantic classes to make it basically look a little bit better and then when we save this and come here let me refresh you see that now here we have the detail and we have this card here so this card here doesn't have dynamic content so let's go ahead and add dynamic content so we will start out by here let's remove so we start out by here I'm just going to change this to to do detail then since we are passing the to do in the view here now we can access the properties on it so we can come over here so for the title we can just do to do let's title like that let's do the description okay so for the date we can now do created that so to do dot created at if we save and come back again you see that now we have the title when it was created and the, the description so if we check out another one like this one you see it has different things so to work so for the completed if it's completed we want to show the check and also show the time it was completed at so that means that every time we change something of this model the updated that field is going to be updated so we can use that for the completed at time so here we can have to do dot update dot updated at and save so if you save this refresh it shows like this but when we come to a to do that's not yet complete you see it is still telling us completed so we don't want to show this so what we want is here we want to first check so we want to check if it's completed so we can do if to do dot is completed then we want now to go ahead and show this paragraph so else then we can say we can have a p that says maybe not yet complete then we can close the if so let's save that so here we can now say not 
get completed. Okay, so here we can refresh and see now it shows not yet complete, not yet completed. Okay, cool. So the one that's completed it can show when it was, the one that is not yet complete. So that's gonna be like this, it shows not yet complete and we can view the detail. So if we try to access manually something that doesn't exist, like here, you see we get a page not found. So here they tell us we are able to see this because the bug is true. But if we change the bug to false, so I'm just gonna quickly go to settings.py somehow. So let me come over here and change the bug to false. Okay, and refresh. Okay, so this is gonna fail because we haven't set up the allowed hosts. So we need to make sure that all domains where application can be served are added in the allowed hosts if we want to run this basically in, in production where we are not debugging. So make sure it is the top level. Let's also add localhost here. If we come back here, refresh, you see that now we get this error from the server. And you can customize which template Django uses, but maybe that can be a future video. Let's go to 8 you see that the application is working. So this is done. So in the next one, I'm gonna come and we start to delete this because we wanna learn how to do that too. So thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you soon.